give a warm welcome from the golf guys for returning to Melbourne. Here comes the Heat, Heath Ellis. Ladies and gentlemen, six rounds of international boxing in the welterweight division. Murray Thompson, Funners Factory, Fort Knox, Friday Night Fights. Introducing first in the red corner with Chubby McAvoy, joined by Les Wilson. Born in New Plymouth, New Zealand. Now resident Varsity Lakes, Rabina on the Gold Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, in amateur boxing and national and Queensland State Amateur Champion. Coming to Melbourne for the second time in professional boxing. He was here at the Rumble on the Wharf where he stopped Paul Thornycroft on October the 2nd. Ladies and gentlemen, at 63.90 kilograms, eight professional fights, two wins, wearing red trunks with white trim. Would you welcome Mika Mike Mad Dog? Ravetti, Ravetti. And in the blue corner with Keith Ellis Senior, Neil Ellis, joining Greg Grogan, Kingsbury Gymnasium. From Greenvale in Melbourne's north western suburbs. He was a six times Victorian amateur champion, a national amateur champion. Ladies and gentlemen at 64.80 kilograms, made a sparkling debut here on Fox Sport, July 28, wearing black trunks with white tassels, with Heath on the front. Ladies and gentlemen, hot to trot, Heath the Heat Ellis. Your referee in charge of the action, Malcolm Mulder, judges at ringside, Ah, Joe Mann, Andrew Campbell, and Bryce Bird Whistle. Here we go. Six rounds Welcome to Centre Ring. Shake hands now. You've had your instructions. I want a good, clean fight. May the best man win. Shake hands. Good luck. Well, Brian, let's just see how Heath handles this. The first fight he had here, it came out like a whirlwind. That's right. There was and no jabbing. No thinking, no, nothing. No, no just jabbing. Or anything. Nothing. Just whirlwind. Okay, round one. Scheduled for six rounds. Six three minute round. Six six three minute round. He he's controlled his aggression this time. He's come out with a bit of thinking this time. Nice shot to the body. Good right hand. Last time he was all over his opponent. He just a, a nervous energy build up. This time he's thinking. That's Ellis I'm talking about. In that's, the, that's correct, yeah. In the black trunks with the white trim. I think sometimes, Brian, they, they dress these kids up in such a way that they think that they're, they're a champion now. They put a lot of load on their shoulders. Yeah, you know what I mean? A lot, of, a lot of load, that's right. <clears throat> good left hook, good quick good, left good, hook. Good, good plain left hook, Keith yeah. Ellis. That was economical, what he's done so yeah. far. He hasn't. A little bit of a slap at that right hand, I thought. Yeah. <clears throat> he is thinking his way through this, I think. That's, that's, that's yeah. good. <clears throat> Trying to figure the guy out. Not going bull at a gate. It's not going bull at a gate, but... Uh... <clears throat> Oh, a nice, nice, nice. Oh, I don't like the way he went back from there. 
<clears throat> he went back with his head up in the air. I don't like that that much, but that's experience. He didn't get hit. Got to hold his hands up. Hands up, head down. That was a nice damage, that one. Yeah, Bit yeah. of damage in that one. That was his brother or his uncle, wasn't uncle, it? Uncle, yes, it was. A great body rip. Yeah. You had a little bit of slap at that right hand, Brian. It's twice now I saw that. Yeah. <clears throat> he has his own unique style, really. Yeah. There's no jab or nothing. It's a different style, isn't it? That's one thing a fighter's got to do is make the other guy miss and make him pay for it. That's right. He's just nudging this round first. Yeah, he's just nudging. He's nothing that. spectacular, yeah. but he is uh, he's winning it. But actually, I prefer to see him fight like this, not yeah. run everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's got to... He, he do this as a learning experience. It's, you know, if it goes three or four or five rounds, it'll be good. The further it goes. Well, I got to give him that round. Yeah, he got that round. That's mm -hmm. Yes, he uh, he thought his way through that. He didn't uh, go wild. The other kid is. Um, Pretty tough kid. I wonder what's going to happen this round because he should have figured him out, I think, in that first round. He should have got a bit now, so what to do with this guy. You think so? But I think the main factor with him has been in his amateur career, and I've watched him, he just doesn't seem to want to listen to the corner. Ah, yeah. You know, okay. it's, it's important he does take good advice, you know? Absolutely. A corner, you've got to listen to a corner. And I think that's been his detriment in the amateurs, you know? But, uh, well, we're coming he, up he for worked, round two. He worked two. very well in that round. Round two, six uh, rounds, three minutes each. Heath Ellis in the black trunks with the white trim, and the boy in red and white is uh, Makai Rivetti from uh, yeah, up right. Queensland Way. A bit of aggression from uh, Rivetti. Yeah, that's the first jab I've seen him throw. Yeah, another one. Got another one in there, too. Another one. That is a call, isn't it? Looks pretty cool. He looks good. Well, that's nice. That's a good mess. Yeah, he worked that nicely. Oh, yeah. A bit good of body punch. Glove, I that was like, here, take that. <laughs> <laughs> They're not developing as I thought it might, to tell you the truth, but those are nice little thinking. Yeah, things. lovely double. Yeah. 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 That, that's classy work. That yeah. gives him the edge, that you was see? Class. That gives was him class. the edge on the round, things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. That's Good beautiful punch. stuff. At least he is working yeah. the body, something beginning fighters don't do enough of. By that, I mean new fighters, you know, inexperienced fighters. They should learn to work the body. Good That's right a nice shot to the head. Yeah. He's, he's working in this guy pretty well, oh, I think. Oh, he's doing well this round. I think he's uh, shaking the other guy's confidence a bit, I too. think he has, too. He gets hit and hurt. When you get hit and hurt, it's a yeah. different thing, isn't it? Yeah. You get a little bit gun-shy, don't you? Yeah, my word. Well, they call him Mad Dog, and the other guy went crazy in his first fight. I wonder maybe they both go crazy here Mad shortly. Dog, remember Mad Dog? Yeah, remember? Mad Dog. I refereed his first pro. Yeah, I refereed him a few times, yeah. Tony Miller. I threatened to uh, ban him one night. Yeah. He, the guy was down on the floor, and he wanted to hit him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that was a good one. He was open for that. I always thought he was going to switch this off over there for a minute. Where's the softball connection? 
I thought that he was going to do that there yeah. for a minute. He thought, was, but uh, he didn't. Oh, it's a nice jab. Yeah. That is a nice I think he just got the edge in this round, Brian. Oh, he's got the round. There's no question. He's, uh, he's assertive. He, he's just gone off a, bit, a little bit the last 30 seconds, but... Uh, That's a slap of the right hand, Brian. That's yeah, three times he's now. He's inclined That's a to slap do that. of the right hand. Yeah. Round two. Well, I got I got to edge. I got to get the kid the round. I'm afraid. Uh, yep. It's not a decisive round, but I think he just showed enough class that the round's got to go to him. Yep. I'd like to see him now. That's imaging. Show us what he's learned in those two rounds. Jab, straight right hand, not slapping with it, and concentrate the body attack, and then switch to the head. Not just hit to the body, move out. Concentrate to the body, then switch to the head. You know, bang, 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 body, switch upstairs. Yeah, I think he's just got to sort of concentrate now and take it right up to him. Put it on. Got to do that. Got to do that. You got to put him on the back foot. He's got the chance now in this fight to do, take over. From this point on, he's going to have to. And I think they're going to have a big problem with that right hand. Here. here we go. This is round three of this six-round fight. Keith Ellis in the black out of the blue corner. And Mikhail Revit out of the red corner with the red trunks. He's not a pushover, that's for sure. He never was going to be. He keeps working, you see, now. Now it's now he's down for it now. It'll be full on. Oh. He keeps trying to do something, Rivati. He does, and uh, actually up to this point he's uh, he's holding around. Yes, he, he is. Yes, I like that when he tries to do something all the time. Yeah, he doesn't want to hold. He punches up up yeah. close. The other guy missed. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Mikhail Rivetti, is it Rivetti they huh? pronounce that? Rivetti. Rivetti. R Rivetti uh, I R think that's about Rivetti. That. He's not far off with the ability to take this round and even to take the fight. Oh, well, he's, he's got it so far in my book. And those beautiful, two beautiful body shots. Oh, return. Oh, that's, that's counterbalanced that, though, isn't it? Yeah. It can change in a flash. Yeah. Sort of evened it up at that point. Oh, that's See how right. we go from here. I don't think Heath is doing enough. No, he's not. Not but, doing uh, enough. But uh, I think he's doing it a bit easy. See, that left hook up top was blocked. Yep. That right hand was blocked. He got a bit of a little bit of a slap at the punch. Yeah, too. yeah. Don't like that. I got a problem with that. Yes, in his first fight, he didn't show hardly anything because just raw aggression. It was nervous energy. In this uh, fight so far, yeah. he showed a little bit, but he's seemingly slipping back, Brian. He's slipping back here. I wonder if he's looking for a one-punch thing. Oh, I think there's a tendency there. Uh, but he's still, I mean, a novice. You've got to understand yeah, true, that. True. You know, he's not, yeah. he's not a fully seasoned boxer. Ab absolutely. Oh, that was a big one. Well, how do you call that? That's a difficult one. I've always kind of called that even. Yeah, I've got an. I feel that an even round to be a good yeah, round. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to call even rounds. I don't know. But I'm going to give that an even round. But when you see him, you've got to call it. Yeah, I'm going to give that an even round. Yeah, so give that an even round. I thought the other kid was on top. 
Just that uh, last exchange yeah, that took, took, the, took, took the round off him, didn't it? Just gave it the other way, leaned yeah, yeah, the other yeah. way. As I say, we basically, Brian, the judges are required to judge. That's what we get paid for. We as commentators have to give an honest appraisal of what we see. Well, and, it, and we, that's what we're doing. It, it, somehow, they, people say it's difficult for a commentator because he's talking and not concentrating. True, true. But I believe uh, between you and I, we've got a lot of experience between us. That's, not? that's exactly right. That, and that's why I always say our view is our yeah, view, yeah, different yeah. than the judges. But we can, between us, agree that that was an even round. With our experience, be pretty right about it. Oh, I reckon. Here we go, round four. Let's see how they go now. Mm. Heath Ellis uh, had that round evened on him, and the Rivette come up with an even round on that exchange. I thought he might have even taken the round. but He looked he, like he would, but he just lost in the last three seconds. That's right. Last uh, flurry of punches. Um... I would like to say, Brian, I'm, I'm very much impressed, but I'm not all that impressed, no, to you, tell you the truth. No, you can't be. But, but um, as you say, he's a young fighter. He's a beginning fighter. Young fighter. And the he's other, got ability, no doubt about that. Rivetti's no easy take. No. He's, he's, he wants to win. That's right. Absolutely. Wasn't a bad right hand. Not a bad one, but he's still a bit sloppy. Yeah. Though. He doesn't get that shoulder in, no. does he? No, they got a problem with that right hand of his, that's for sure. You know, the other thing about it, we, we, we this kid has got tickets on him. You know what I mean? People got tickets on him because of his brilliant amateur career. We yeah. can't expect too much of him in the pros, that yeah. beginning pros. Well, that's right. I mean, because of his uh, Lester, I mean, yeah. everybody thinks he's going to be another one. That's right. He's got a lot on his shoulders. A lot on his shoulders. I wonder if Rivetti took it up to him more, what would happen. Maybe let that mad dog nickname of his come out a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, it might bring more out of him. I don't know what he's like on the back move. Knees a bit shorter punches, yeah. don't they? Half arm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Not the that we're trying to be critical, but we're just trying to see him improve an aspect. That's right. Me? I'm wondering, Brian, if there isn't a little bit of cuteness about him. Maybe an affected cuteness. Um, it's hard to explain. I, I just wonder. I see some moves, and they're almost like they're copying moves from somebody who wants to look good doing it. Yeah, well, I think there's a bit of less of there. Yeah. Lester was a bit that way, you know. A uh, couple of good punches there. Saved the round for him. Saved the round for him. See, when you look at the fans, look at fights like this, they have to appreciate that a knuckle part of the glove landing on a scoring part of the body is a scoring punch. That's right. And you only need a couple of scoring punches ahead at the end of the round to win the round. That's right. You don't have to have 10 or 15. Two punches ahead can do it for yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I got to go back to Heath Ellis on that. Yeah, I'll nudge him on it. I got you. This kid's got two rounds. I don't know what he can do in two rounds. He um, he may knock him out in two rounds, of course, but uh, going to be difficult. He can't outbox him in two rounds because he's too far behind. He have to knock him out. He's four points behind as far as. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. He's um, he's uh, two points behind on my card coming up into this last round. Second round, round five. Five, I'm sorry, this is five, this is. That's an error, what have we got, what have we got? Five. We've got, uh, yeah, round five. Yeah, the kid's going to take it up to him this yeah. round. Which he'd he probably do better doing that. That's better short punching. That's lovely short punching. Four good punches there. 
Well, he's going to get it back. He's three points behind. I got yeah. oh, that's yeah, three points. That's, that's right. better. He's three points behind. I got 40 37 at this stage with one round being even. And yeah, one yeah, is a 10 yeah, 8 yeah. round right. in there. He's unmarked, Rivetti. Completely unmarked. He's better up close, Rivetti. He should yeah. get up tight, up close. Yeah, I wish he, he, he that's it, that's what he's gonna have to do. If he wants any chance to take in this fight out. He's gotta get up short, up close. Get up and up work. Close. Work the body. Work the head. He got the short arm yeah. action. Yeah. Well, his corner's got the right idea. They're telling uh Rivetti to work, 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 yeah, and that's what he's got to do. He's winning this round. Yeah. It's a clear round for him. And he's got uh, Ellis missing badly and not coming back with oh, something. Oh, I don't know whether Ellis is tiring. But... Well, that might be, but you shouldn't miss that way and not come back with something. Look and at he's... these little short uppercuts. They're good. They're yeah. Good. They're good shots. Ellis misses and has nothing to come back with. People will say, well, he came back with something there. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, yeah. He's got to, I and mean, he's got to come back for something. He needs those shorter passes. Yeah. Right. Now, those punches both missed. That missed. Now, there, here is where Rivetta should keep punching when he's in there. Yeah, he's keep up close. working. He works the body. He, he does that a little bit more. Little uppercut there. Uh, yeah, There's it, something wrong with it. What was it? Is, is, it was a weird one. It was going, yeah. going the wrong way. Is Heath getting tired? I think he is a bit. Well, he shouldn't. Has he been cheating on his training, or do you think he's a one-punch knockout artist? Sloppy, a bit sloppy there. I think he's tired. I don't think he's tired. He's getting tired. There's no doubt about that. But um, well, something's wrong in his training camp then. Uh, uh, definitely around to Rivetti. I got to give uh, Rivetti that. Uh, Rivetti got that round, no doubt, Mike. Got something. Last round. Well, I got it 49-47. Yeah, I got the same. Mind you, like I say, <laughs> Gus, it's, it is difficult when you're talking because you can't concentrate as clear as when you're watching. That's right. Well, you agree on that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We, we, have, we have to make the fight interesting and point certain things out That's rather right. than just sit and count punches all the time. That's right. <laughs> But if he gets through this one, which he looks like he will, yeah. uh, it's, it's an achievement just the same, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the sixth and final round. Yeah. Um, Mikhail Revetti is two points behind on our collective scorecards, which are not official scorecards. Look at these up short now. That's yeah. marvelous stuff. Yeah. That's working, isn't it? Oh, good comeback. But he didn't keep it going either. No, he didn't. But it was a shorter punch. That's yeah. what I'd like to see him throw. Not those wide, wide loopers. Yeah, as I was saying, we got our unofficial scorecard. The official scorecard is the one the judges deliver at the end of the fight. Yeah. But we have uh, Ellis winning at this stage. Well, that was a That was one. nice, yeah. yeah. He left that, himself open, huh? Yeah. Badly, he's done that a couple of times, yeah, yeah. but himself badly yeah, open. Yeah. Call him up. <laughs> he 
Yeah, I think he's a bit tired. Gonna have to work harder in the gym. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, You're gonna have to ask him hard questions in the gym. Possibly it could have been a 6 twos, you know. Uh, yeah. Might have been a bit easier yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah. But, three, I mean, it's hard. Pretty 6-3 is a, is a very formidable distance for That's a guy, right. isn't it? That's right. Yeah, he's got to get... He's got to get in better shape, and they got to do something with that right hand of his. Yeah. Oh, that was a big yeah. comeback. Good shots. Yeah. McCaw isn't doing much either, really. He could do a lot more to help his case. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's only a novice himself, yeah. really. You know, I don't think how many fights he had. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's only had um, two. Two, that's right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's had uh, eight. Eight fights, huh? Right. But he's lost six. So. Yeah, he's uh, a short one. I got him by a whisker in front. Yeah. Ellis. Ellis, yeah. yeah. Oh, good body shot. Well, he yeah. backs off, you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good round. Yeah, well, that's... Thank you, Damien. Both fighters come to center ring for the official announcement. The score tables are in. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Andrew Campbell and Joe Mann both have it 59-55. Bryce Bedwistle has it 59-57. All for the winner from the blue corner, the Heat, Heath Ellis. Give Mike Rivetti a big round of applause from the Gold Coast, Queensland. How about three cheers for Heath Ellis? Ebet? 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 Yep, good on you, Lee. Put that the big set around the neck of Heath Ellis. Thank you, Stan. Heath, a learning experience. Eight professional fights against your one. So that was a learning experience. How'd you see? Look, I think that Mika Rivetti deserves a, a big round of applause. He's a tough kid. He's a lot better than his record. Gave me a real good fight. Thanks a lot. I'd like to thank my corner, my trainer, Greg Grogan, my manager, my dad, Neil Ellis, my grandpa, my cut man, Keith Ellisina. I'd like to thank my girlfriend, Natalie, my best mate, Daniel Nato, my family, all the fight fans who came today, and my sponsor and good mate, Dave Mathesons. Thanks a lot. Keith Ellis, beautifully spoken, Heath.